If you have watched my recent videos, you will have seen my rain tent in action. Noticeably, it keeps the rain off. But it also collects water. A Borum style catamaran has a lot of deck space, but it isn't very useful when it rains. I have experimented with a variety of tents. This one came with the boat, but was heavy and cumbersome, and didn't collect water. This is a prototype with rain collection. When I was cruising with Michael, I copied his two-piece method to get around the mast, one in front, one behind. I built a boat under this improvised tent. Then later I made a better tent. Here is it with just the back part. And here it is with both parts. I use both when I have boat work to do or I'm expecting a long rainy period. But most important, this tent is also a rain catcher. I'm not the first person to make a rain catcher on my boat. But for some reason, every other design I was able to find was basically funnel shaped with a drain in the centre. If you've been camping in the rain, you've probably seen water collect in an awning. Adding a drain to the sag is an obvious next step. But what if there is a better way? Introducing the Dominic Tar Soft Gutter. Rain runs down the tent to a fold at the bottom edge. And then down that edge to a spout at the corner. A tank may be placed under the spout. Or a tube may be connected to the spout and run into a tank. I used two heavy duty tarps, 4.9 by 6.1 meters, 113 New Zealand dollars each. I sewed on my own webbing tie points because the grommets will just pull out and weren't in the right place anyway. See also my poly tarp sail making video. This tarp is plenty strong. I just sewed on webbing strap loops without any other reinforcement. This sewing machine tends to break needles when reversing, so I turn the work around and sew forward each time. For the spout, I glued in a short piece of irrigation tube using contact adhesive. Someone distracted me and I didn't film folding it over. Just glue it in and then sew the gutter to the side above the spout. Also note that the tie point is just above the spout. When it's tight, the gutter will be straight. I also added some straps to hold the gutter up. Three on each side did the job. They allow the gutter to hang open slightly, but most importantly, stop it from flopping open. Here is the gutter strap in action. To pitch the tent, I attach the forward corners, then the halyard. Then, the rear corners and the rear peak attach to the topping lift and the backstay. As you would expect, taking it down is the reverse. Good folding technique is important to make a small bundle that's easy to store. Having the tent in two pieces means that each piece is a more manageable size, which is especially important if there is some wind. I fold it over, then fold it into the center a couple of times, and then roll it up. The whole setup covers an area of about 40 square meters of deck. One millimeter of rain falling on one square meter of catchment gives one liter of water. With the amount it rains in New Zealand, just the back part is more than enough. Thanks for watching.